Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to edit your STL files uh, in Mesh Mixer and get them ready for 3D printing. This one was taken with the 3M TrueDef scanner and I just exported it from the Connection Center online and brought it into Mesh Mixer. Mesh Mixer is a free open source uh, software available online. So we begin um, by just seeing what we need to do here. We need to fill the holes. We need to trim some of the gingiva here, the cheeks that got in our scan. We need to put a base on it and make it a solid model here with a nice base. Okay, so first I'm just going to fill the holes. And we can come over here to our Analyze button and the Inspector key. This will show us all those holes that need to be filled. And the different colors indicate a different size. So I'm just going to start by clicking the bubbles. we zoom in nice and close you can see how the bubbles are or the holes are filled here pretty nice and easy very cool now what i'm avoiding is see this red line it's our boundary throughout the whole part i don't want to fill that boundary because then it'll take up this whole space here and try and fill it in. So I'm just going to get what I know are real holes. Since this outline is in red, I'm going to avoid any of these red bubbles out here. That looks good for now. Okay, then we choose done and select over here. We'll get to trimming away any of these extra edges. So really cool thing about the selection key, you can choose just by clicking on the mouse and selecting an area and it kind of rolls with the model here. That is one option. But I like to, there is a feature here that we can just kind of lasso the items that we want to remove. So I'll just go ahead and draw a circle around what I want out, finish it off nice, then I'll just use my keyboard to delete it. So it's important to get this nice smooth clean cut because when we create the base on the model we do it by extruding it and when we extrude these parts it will actually create that jagged edge and we want nice clean smooth lines here so before we extrude the model I am going to choose our inspector key again make sure we got all the holes filled so there's our red boundary that we were talking about earlier I am not selecting that but these purple ones usually indicate some kind of floater so let's get rid of the floater okay so here we go now to extrude the model you can use control A on your keyboard to select the whole part. We will come up here to edit and select extrude. When you see the model turn to this funny black lined part inside of the orange, you know you've got it right. Sometimes this part can turn a dark purple red color and it'll tell you at the bottom uh, that it is not actually extrudable. 
So maybe you didn't you didn't choose that inspector key and fill your holes again. Um, it for some reason doesn't like the boundaries aren't clean. It doesn't like how your model is going to extrude. Usually it's because of a hole. Okay, so we'll just come up here. I'm going to give us the biggest base possible to work with. So I'll just come all the way out and there it goes. Very cool. I will go ahead and accept that. Okay, so now we want to get our flat base here. So I will come over to our edit key on the left hand side and choose plain cut. And we will cut off the excess extruded part of the model here. So now you can use these arrows, the blue, the red, and the green arrows as you turn the model around you can uh, adjust the plane with these arrows. But a little shortcut is just by drawing a line with the left click on the mouse. There it is. Now I'll adjust it. Makes it a little easier. So I'm just checking to make sure we have enough gingiva here that our plane is flat and evenly distributed on each side. I can see that it's a little high here. So I'm just going to even these guys out. You can make your base as tall or as short as you please. Uh, if you're in a really big hurry and you want this to print quickly, then don't put a big base on it. Okay, we got lots here. I'm just going to kind of bring this down. It's just kind of how I like to edit them. Okay, once you have it how you like it, you can come over here and choose accept. Awesome. There is our hollow model, all edited, holes are filled, looks wonderful. So how do we create this flat base here? Well, before I create a solid model here, I am again going to use our inspector key. See how some more just kind of show up here? Let's see, let's fill these guys. Excellent. The inspector key is our best friend. You can never use it too much. I will choose done and again come over here to our edit key and select make solid. You want it to say filling hole of one. If it says filling hole of six or filling hole of ten, you did not use your inspector key. We only want one hole to be filled here and sometimes it takes a while Excellent. Here we go. Take a look at that. Awesome. Now before you export, make sure you accept this here. And now it's ready to be printed.